sides. Um, All right, we're live. What's up, fuckers? Okay. I want to die. It's a Friday episode of Pop Up Shop at a more reasonable time. And with me today, we've got Tamro, as Kill always. Me. Then we got Australian. Say yep. hello. Oi, oh. cunt. Oh. <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> And then we've got Waifu Hunter, who is our special guest for tonight. Free Tibet! No. <laughs> free Tibet! We're not freeing shit. No, I'm need to be more open. I'm offering one free Tibet. Oh. Are you selling Tibetan monks again? Kind of. I thought you got caught last time. Shush. I thought they were Jews, okay? Oh, yeah. No one's going to care if you're just selling the Jews. Did you get the uh, Tibetan? Did you get the salt, like the pink Himalayan shit, or nah? Uh, they won't pick it up. You just need to whip them a little harder. I've heard the salt mines can be pretty, pretty fruitful. Yeah, but they got that fucking like Shaolin monk bullshit. So it's like, no, no, thank you. Did you know those fuckers can throw a needle through glass? Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna tell them to pick up fucking pink salt. <laughs> they could be someone else's problem. Fuck that. Oh, God. All right. So, we actually have topics today, surprisingly. And by topics, I mean two things we're going to talk about. And then we're just going to bullshit our way through the rest like we always do. Hell yeah. So, we have we have a show booked for Monday. And it's a very special show because it's our first returning challenger versus a new guest. This is awkward. Waifu? The, the transgender is coming back. Yeah, Waifu, would you care to take over from here, my friend? Yeah, no worries. Uh, fucking, I watched the amazing uh, Betamax Blood Sports, and uh, I had myself a fucking great time watching that, but something that really bothered me was she wasn't uh, spooky weep trash, she wasn't answering any fucking questions, and I was left with more questions than answers, so I threw out the gauntlet. I was like, I kind of want the answers to some of this shit, so I've uh, put down the stipulation of a polite discussion match uh, done a couple times before. Yeah, I think you had an issue with uh, the disrespectful tone I was handling the poor woman, right? Do you want to show her what a true gentleman is like? No. Oh. I just want some fucking answers. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm done, you can manhandle her all you want. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can't manhandle a man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be good shit because I've got questions I want to ask, but, you know, I've got to keep it so she'll come on the show. I can't completely burn that bridge yet. Tamro almost fucking did. Like, he poured the gasoline down and I had tried. the lit. <laughs> Yeah, but then I muted them both, and then you kicked them. Yeah, I don't know how you fucking... I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's not worry about that. Why did I bring that up? <laughs> he yeah. fucked it up so I, I never, I never claimed to be competent. Yeah, no, you didn't. And then <laughs> after that... Yeah, that's uh, that's our Monday show. And then next Saturday, we've got Ralph from the Ralph Retort coming on to read a wonderful fan fiction from The Dark Knight. I'm very excited for that because I'm going to send Tamro to go find it. So you know it'll be at least a solid six. Oh, but I don't have, I can't, I can't make it too weird, right? Himself. Like the one I'm going to read uh, soon. Yeah, Tamro's going to be reading a really fucked up fan fiction tonight because he really wants to, and that worries me. Because if he shows more than like half effort in something, <laughs> I'm typically pretty fucking worried. It's rare, but it's special. What it happens. No, it's rare, but it's terrifying because it means it's <laughs> fucked up and it's probably going to bite us in the ass a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, color me nervous. I fucking should I just do it now? <laughs> what? I mean, if what? you want to do it now, fuck yeah. We'll give Waifu some more time because he is doing a terrible job at hyping. What, what am I supposed to, to hype? Oh, I'm going to politely ask her questions and question her. I said, said right, McGregor right. Mayweather hype. God no, 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 damn. no, no, no. Let me handle this. All right, let me handle this. So imagine this. Last time, what did I do? I attempted to uh, hurt this uh, poor woman's feelings uh, uh, while being talked over by my uh, co-hosts. Uh, but of course, my voice shined through being the superior uh, co-host on this show. 
uh, I triggered her too much. She left, and she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Uh, but now we have an upcoming uh, smooth talker going to go and find out the answers that you wanted answered without someone shouting uh, horrendous insults at her. And uh, that man is going to be Waifu Hunter. Hello. Oh, sup? Yeah. All right. You kind of just killed my... I was kind of going for professional, and you just said sup, and kind of killed the mood. But that's okay, because you see that charismatic, casual uh, tone is going to win us some answers, lads. Is anyone else hyped? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, I'm personally excited because I hope it goes well, because last time was fucking great. But some, some fucking Spurg cut it like halfway short, and I'm not... Who did not, that? I don't know. Some really dumb cunt. I think they think... <sighs> I just got to ask, though. So you have two people going at each other, and that's, like, what you've been waiting for, right? Like, mm-hmm. why would you mute them both? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it it seems like a... Up? Yeah, it's not... It seems like a really autistic thing to allow. I mean, it, like, it doesn't even make rational sense, either. You know, it's, yeah, like... one of them was, like, leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, just, I don't know, man. Who did that? Was it Punish Dad? I don't know. Yeah, Dad, was it you? I think it was him. No. Oh, that like, doesn't sound legit. Wasn't, definitely was not me. Okay. I, I, I mean, can think of a certain autist, though. I mean, I don't know, man. It seems like I was kind of taking credit for it, and then all of a sudden you got kind of pissy about that. I don't know. Maybe you got pissed and you muted them both. Do you think that might be it? Yeah, no. No. That's, that's definitely not it. All right, what is it, Aussie boy? It's it's you, Tamara. You're fucking unbelievably autistic. (laughs) (laughs) He's not not wrong. Is the issue? Yeah, man. I can't really counter counter that. (laughs) More importantly, Dad, did you ever get your abyss? Yeah. Yeah. No, she refused. Not even for five thousand dollars. We will get a price. I promise you. Yeah, I want to die or die trying. I want to die in that abyss. Again, my working theory of why she has no nudes is because we'd see her penis, or we'd see her uh, botched up surgery job to remove said penis. So, which? What do you think? What are you betting? I got ten bucks on. She still has the cock. Um. That's what I used to think. I remember the tucking job thing. I was I was questioning that, uh, but I don't know. I think it might be gone. That's why I'm really confused about its gender, you know, because it has the male facial structures, right? But you know, you can't really see anything down there. So I don't know. I think it might just be like a post-operation transgender. You know what huh? I'm saying? Anyone else take a bets? research. <laughs> Female. 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 I've had a board of experts. Really? So what? Do you think she has like maybe ten percent Neanderthal genes or what? Um, I'm gonna say that's just some very unfortunate genetics, and I mean I can't talk too much shit because it's a polite discussion, man. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, well, what do you think, Punished Dad, of of her of her facial features, if you can I call think them features? She looks fucking hideous. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just fucking rank. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you a sincere question, Punish Dad? Did you think she was hot before? Or was it all an act? Would you like to clear your name? No, I, I never thought she was hot. So you okay. thought she was easy? She just fucking dirty slut the entire time. Yuck. Like, you can smell her just from looking at her pictures, sort of thing, you know? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's that dirty. Yeah. Oh, just God. just that's one fucking grody bitch. <laughs> grody. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, this this is this is why we need waifu to do it. hmm Dad never cut <laughs> no. I would like head. people to stand in solidarity with me. Hashtag dad never cucked. Nope. Played the long game. Oh yeah, he yeah, did. He, he stuck it through, man. Like I couldn't do that. You, 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 you still asked for those. <laughs> you couldn't assholes. go through five seconds. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that was it. Real quick, just like, no. Yeah, I was Don't upset. Let her sorry. Her chat. <laughs> Don't let her in. Oh fuck! Time to be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry. I, I can't take Tamro advice when he says, oh, don't let them in when dipshits, you know, put the hangout link in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, I don't really, I want people in here. I just said that, you know, because I didn't want her to be like, oh, you brought me in here. You know what I'm saying? No. What? Well, that's sometimes an argument that people use. Oh, well, you're the one who cares. You're the one who invited me in. I, you know what I'm saying? Am I being crazy here? No, you just sound really retarded. Came to that time, right? No, no, you make you make a lot of sense there. Um, but at the same time, it's a stream where it's like you can come in if you want. No one's, you know, it's not like Pop and Tamara pulling you by the arms. Please, we need you. The show's dying. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, oh shit, we showed the hangout link. Should we be nervous? Nah. No, I don't think I put the hangout link in the chat that time. I think that was another time. Yeah, that was a, a that was a different time you did that. Yeah. No regrets. You said invite the guy on, so I just put it there. That was fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, that was funnier than shit. Easy easy access right there, buddy. You can click it. Okay, I was so, still hoping it was just—I was hoping it was some like Mexican dude on his lunch break, just listening to us because he was confused. <laughs> yeah, I kind of knew it was a troll from the start when he asked where the library was. Like, all right, you know. Well, that's a—that's a community thing, right? Think of what? From the show Community, right? Someone else want to take this? You never watched uh, Community? No. I don't watch TV. I watch Japanese TV. Oh god, why are you so fucking gay? You know what I'm talking about Waifu Hunter? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck Hell it. yeah! Speaking of Japanese TV, what's up, Princess Trunks? Oh, she in the chat? Whoa, whoa, Waifu Hunter, you want to take my job? <laughs> you read chat better you than do I do. a real good job of it. Yeah, so, somebody has to look at the fucking chat. Tamara can't do it. We should replace. Yeah, we do. No, we're not replacing him. He makes me look good, so I'm good. <laughs> what is that? My job is to make all our guests look better by comparison. Yeah. Speaking of better, where the fuck is my food? This should be here already. Dumb cunts. Oh, shoot. Man. Right, speaking of dumb cunts, this is a good lead into Tamara. You got your story ready? Oh shit! Yeah, I do. Yeah, Ooh, you want to go? Ahead. You want to go ahead and uh, start that up, buddy? Okay, I'll, it's a long one, so I'll just read a few paragraphs or two par or one paragraph, or depending on how long I can go. Uh, uh, you're reading the whole thing in, in one go. This is like you okay. Hyped, you hyped this the fuck up. You're gonna read the whole thing. But I meant like you know over time, you know, and then I'll stop, take a break. Well, yeah, obviously like that dipshit. But okay, you're, okay, 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 okay. One autumn afternoon, Sonic the Hedgehog was taking a nice walk in the forest. Don't he forget to the premise, you idiot. What was the title? Okay, sorry, sorry. It's Sonic's last one night stand. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. This is odd. He and Tails were going to get married in two days, but he wanted some alone time to think about their union of holy matrimony. He curled into a ball and zoomed up a tall tree so he could enjoy the landscape. The leaves were bright red and orange, and the sun shone on them, making them appear like each tree was on fire or made of the fire finest gold. Sonic sat on a branch and sighed. He loved Tails. But he was going to miss the bachelor lifestyle. Maybe if I can have just one more one night stand, I can be able to live with Tails happily ever after. What he what he don't what he don't know won't hurt him, right? Just when he said that, he saw a Pikachu playfully chasing a butterfly out of the forest and into the field just off Sonic's <laughs> left. He stood up and shielded his eyes from the sun so he could get a better look. The Pikachu was beautiful. Its yellow fur was short and smooth and gave off a golden glaze that was unlike anything Sonic had ever seen. Its brown eyes gleamed in the sunlight, and its cheeks gave off a red glow. It looked like it had just evolved from a Pichu, but it was still a child in Pokemon standards. Sonic felt, Sonic felt his huge hedgehog cock grow as he watched the Pokemon play so innocently. He couldn't tell the gender of the Pikachu from his standpoint, but that didn't matter. Sonic was a pansexual, and the Pikachu was getting him all hot and bothered by its beauty. He knew that if he ever wanted to be happily married to Tails, he would have to unleash his sick lust on this Pokemon. All right. Is that enough for now? On this Pokemon? Yeah, um, yeah let's... um. What? Oh, wait, 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 I got some way more interesting Tamra. <laughs> Your, your wife in the chat just now says, yeah. X already read her this story. Oh, yeah, that's true. I stole this from X. 
Oh, re- wait, what? Really? Yeah, no, he's like, he, he, he linked it. Yeah. No, 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 no. is a third rate eight. Not no. even. He's, um, what best way to put this? He's like, he's like the John Oliver of fucking Spurgs. He takes their Spurgery and kind of melts it down into easily digestible and spreadable cancer for everyone else. Yeah. Like a late night host. Yeah. Not that well, bad. actually, no, no, no. But here's what I do. I'm not even John Oliver. What I am, I'm one of the audience members who watches John Oliver and then paraphrases what John Oliver said to one of his friends. Oh, you're one of those kids. God, oh, yeah, I'm slap you. No, I don't actually do that. But that's what I'm gonna do on this show. Hell yeah, nigga. All right. So, any thoughts so far on Sonic the Pansexual? Not, <laughs> not, not a whole lot, other than why. Well, he felt his his huge hedgehog cock grow. We need to do what we need to do. Oh God, where did you find this? Like, where is it from? Oh, I know that. Where is it from? What, it's what, from what a live journal. Syrian journal. refugee. Oh, uh, just looks at the animal and. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's from uh, Live Journal. Yeah. Do you want to find out what happens next? I I I do. Not I feel really like really I have to. I mean, okay. in a flash, Sonic ran down from the tree through the forest and stopped twelve feet behind the Pokemon. It hadn't noticed his presence. Well, it's it's spelled like presence, like the gift. Not the, mm. so, so the spelling is atrocious. I'm just like ignoring it. So Sonic could stand behind it to inspect it further. At this standpoint, Sonic could see that it was a female. Her pink, juicy pussy jiggled as she oh! hopped up and down, trying to catch the equally beautiful butterfly. The butterfly consistently had a very similar color scheme as the Pikachu. But he wants to fuck Sonic the butterfly slowly. Too. <laughs> Sonic slowly followed the chew as it played in bliss. Sonic fantasized, fucking the Pikachu senseless. He imagined grabbing the nicely formed hips of the underage chew and lick her tight, hairless pussy. <laughs> he imagined his sticking his huge what, what cock the deep fuck? to her virgin cock, unleashing his seed into her womb. As Sonic slowly approached, he stepped on a twig, catching the Pikachu's attention. I don't, I don't love this what? story. Oh, it's not over. This is this is the tame part. Oh no. This, this is already a bit too fucked up. <laughs> a little. All right, we'll keep going. The beautiful Chew stood and watched Sonic. She tilted her head to the side and quiz. Oh my God, that's spelling. Inquisibly, as she gently chirped, Pika. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just walking along, and I saw you playing my cute little Chew. I come in peace. <laughs> Pikachu stared at him. She had never seen anything like Sonic the Hedgehog, and she crept to him in sheer curiosity, again chirping, Pika? Sonic approached the Pikachu with his hand out like one would do meeting a new dog for the first time. It's okay. I'm the nice guy. The Pikachu stopped in front of Sonic, sniffing his hand while keeping its head tilted. Sonic slowly and gently placed his hand on the unexpecting Chew's back. The Pikachu flinched at the touch of Sonic. It didn't know what Sonic was, but it had a sense that Sonic wasn't exactly a nice guy. Its sackles raised, and it backed away slowly. Pika, don't be afraid. I'm your friend. Sonic approached slowly the Pikachu. Sonic could feel an electric static charge when he approached Pikachu. Sonic stopped, and he felt something inside him crack. Every, everyone he ever knew, he was a nice guy. But deep down, Sonic had some dark, sick desires that he wanted to unleash on his helpless victim. I am your friend. Why don't you trust me? The Pikachu slowly backed away, then suddenly ran. Sonic grew pissed and grabbed a nearby rock and threw it at the retreating Pokemon, knocking it out cold immediately. Holy Blood shit! Blood from the wound inflicted on the helpless Chew. What the fuck are you reading? Sonic, <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> rape you! Sonic! This is fucked up, because we oh. all know it's self-insert, too. I want, <laughs> I, I, wanna, I wanna thank my wife in chat puppy. for saying I did a nice reading. This this brings a whole new fucking meaning to gotta go fast. <laughs> you gotta oh. go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. The Pikachu was running away from Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Sonic, the, he was trying to escape from Sonic. Well, he threw a rock at it. Why did he throw a rock when he could just fucking catch it? Look, man, they spelt desired like this. 
D I S I E R. Oh, because Pop, yeah. he's writing this is a, like a child or something. Sonic. He wrote this. He's not, he's not writing about Sonic and, and Pikachu. He's writing about himself and his fucking puppy. Oh no! <laughs> the worst part about these autists is they always give you the exact measurement of when things are like away from each other. Like he snuck up about twelve feet away from it, and I'm like, why always the exact measurement? Oh yeah. I guess because autistic kids love numbers. <laughs> huh. I thought that was Rain Man. All right, should I keep going? Yeah, go ahead. Dumb bitch. Now I'm going to take you and I will not be gentle. He went over to the Pikachu and oh. saw she was laying in a small puddle of blood. He rolled her over so he could see the lovely red life fluid all over her face. He rubbed the blood like a finger paint on her face, down her neck, and onto her chest where he noticed six nipples and a plump pussy at the bottom. Sonic immediately started biting on the Pikachu's nipple like some ravenous beast. He dug his teeth into one of her nipples and ripped it off, what swallowing the it fuck? whole. The pain and shock of getting her nipple ripped off woke up the Pikachu. She looked at Sonic and saw the blood on his hands and mouth. She screamed and started to squirm. Uh, Any thoughts? Uh, you know, um... I heard I had to listen to Johnny Fox's uh, creepy pasta, and I have to say this is the second worst thing I've heard all day. Jesus <laughs> fucking Oh, it's, it's not even done yet. It's, uh, it's obnoxiously long, right? Yeah. I don't have to read it all if you don't really want me to. No, go ahead. We 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 already started. Stop squirming, bitch. You're just turning me on more. And he grabbed the shoe's neck and started to strangle her into unconsciousness. Sonic can feel her high hyroid bone. What's a hyroid bone? Whatever. Yeah, that, that's the that's the question I have. Out of her all of this, hyroid bone. Her thyroid. I can't think of anything. I think he meant thyroid. Yeah. <laughs> her thyroid. I don't think he meant thyroid because that's a fucking. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Sonic can feel her. You mean Heimlich? Heimlich? Sonic can feel her hyroid bones start to give out in the struggle. Pikachu was able to give a thunder shock. It's an almost instinctual defense. Sonic felt the electricity coursing through his veins, down his arm, into his chest, where it split into two parts. One went down his chest and down to his groin. The other went up his spine and into his brain. Both electroshocks hit the cock in his brain at the same time, giving Sonic a mind-blowing orgasm spasm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that alliteration at the end there? All right. Uh, during, I, need, I need to drink more for this. I'm really uncomfortable. During Sonic's most intense orgasm he ever had, he continued strangling the Pikachu as it passed <laughs> out. Sonic rubbed his weeping cock on Pikachu's beautiful, plump, bloody chest while keeping his hands on the Chew's neck. He made sure he rubbed his ejaculate all over the painful nipples while bucking his hips. Mmm, yes. The feel of Pikachu going limp in his grasp gave him a thrill so intense his cock remained hard. When he was sure the Pikachu was unconscious, he flipped the Pikachu on its stomach with her head facing him and stuck his huge cock down her throat. Tails, never deep throats. Let's unleash some pent-up frustration on this yellow cunt face and started ramming the poor Chew's mouth violently. He knew there was a possibility his strong hips could snap the Pikachu's neck, but he didn't care. All he cared about was how small and tight her mouth and throat was. Her little fangs scraped violently on Sonic's dick, drawing blood and tissue matter that trickled out of the Pikachu's mouth and onto the ground, but he ignored the pain and used the blood as a lube. What? What? Oh, fuck! And Sonic jizzed deep into the unconscious Pikachu's mouth making sure to hold her head up so she wouldn't choke on his bloody cum. Only after when he slipped his cock out of her mouth did he notice he shredded his dick like a cheese in a cheese grater. It hurt like hell, but Sonic's penis was still hard. He cussed the Pikachu as he watched his own blood drip off his cock. Fucking bitch! Fucking bitch whore! I'll teach you to shred my cock. Alright, I'll give it a little break there. Uh... You guys ever listen to System of a Down? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. I, I think right now we're experiencing the violent pornography. Yeah. That's... Choking chicks and sodomy. 
Well, and grating your dick in the fucking <laughs> Pikachu's an unconscious Pikachu's mouth with their nipple ripped off while cucking your husband. Uh, what? What? He's cucking tails. They're about to get married. Don't you know oh, the yeah. lore? You remember the lore? Oh god, I'm I'm just kind of horrified and sitting here in shock. Like, oh god, it's only getting worse. You yeah. still hungry, Pop? No. Choking chicks and sodomy. I'm pretty upset that my food's not here yet because I'm not gonna be oh, able to. Oh, sorry. Eat. People in chat are asking me to to not stop breeding. He's so close. Uh, Go. Going. I don't, don't want to stop the poor man's orgasm. You know. So. Yeah, you can't. He needs that shit, Tamara. That's fucking torture. Hey, sorry. Okay. Um, he looked around and he saw. A, oh my god, this is long as shit. All right. He looked around and he saw a white rock nearby in the grass. He brushed it off and grabbed Pikachu's bloody face, holding her up at eye level. See every little bit of gore that he was about to do had to offer. He started smashing the Chew's teeth. Every single tooth the Pikachu had was bashed out of her mouth and collected by Sonic. Gonna make this into a necklace later, said Sonic, gri gripping his hard cut-up cock. After he made sure all the teeth was stored aside, he took his fingers and played with the blood and the dripped out of her mouth, again, lifting her head so she wouldn't choke. He turned the pika around so she was on her tubby, but now her ass was facing it. He used the blood on his fingers as lube and jammed his middle finger into the chew's piping hot asshole. Through it was dripping blood, his cock twitched as he felt the heat of the unconscious Pikachu's rectum on his finger. It was a small, much too small for his cock, but he didn't care. If I can come one more time. He took his finger out, rubbing the blood and shit that was on it on the Pikachu's back. He roughly entered the Pikachu's breach, finally waking her up again. Pika! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and Sonic punched the Pikachu in the back of the head, cracking her skull and knocking her out once again. Sonic chuckled evilly and grabbed the Pikachu's hips, ramming his super hard, bloody dick deeper into the Pikachu's ass. His cock never felt anything like a Pikachu's hole. It was so <laughs> hot and tight, Sure, Tails' ass was really nice, but this had to be the best hole he had ever fucked. Sonic tilted his, his head back and groaned loudly as he pounded the chew like a small, wild, untamed animal. He fucked harder, getting even more turned on by the smacking sounds his balls and hips made while making contact with the Pikachu's pelvis. Blood from his, both his dick and the Pikachu's asshole trickled down into a puddle on the grassy forest. He leaned forward his hands on the bloody ground on either sides of the Pikachu, and bit her neck. His fangs dug deep into the Pikachu's neck, drawing blood as he neared orgasm. Oh, God! This is what restricted mode looks like. Hmm? This is what, re this is what restricted mode looks like. Hmm. We're on restricted mode? Not yet, but we will be. Oh, okay. oh hey, Waves is here. Sup, fucker? What's up? You gonna uh, stay awake this time? Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Right. Do I keep going? Yep, uh, you gotta. All right. Oh, God! And with one final slam, Sonic ejaculated deep into his victim's ass, staying there as an orgasm that rivals the one he had when Pikachu shocked him and washed all over his body. When he was sure he emptied his balls into Pikachu's rectum, he pulled out and sat behind it, panting wildly. By this time, the sun was setting, and he remembered that Tails wanted him back before sundown. Whoops! Gotta go. He got up and stared at the unconscious Pikachu's abused, beaten, bloody, and fucked body. He laughed coldly and started kicking the dirt into her face. He bent over her body and whispered, Thanks for the fuck. And he spit on her face. Bitch. Sonic laughed and grabbed a pile of teeth he had stored aside and blasted off with sonic speed. An hour later, the Pikachu woke up, started crying. Her little body ached so much that she was left alone by a careless monster to deal with it. She weeped and weeped keeping the humiliating position her bloody ass in the air and her face down. Sonic semen, semen have slowly dripped into her virgin cunt, and she will end up giving birth to her and Sonic's child. It was twilight and fireflies flew over the head. The last bit of sun shone on the autumn leaves, beautiful. And on any other occasion, the young Chu would have skipped in the fields, playing with the fireflies until the sun disappeared over. But the horizon, the once free, carefree Pikachu just laid there like a piece of used meat. She will never be the same. 
Sonic and Tails had the wedding of the century. All their friends and family were there, and they partied until sundown. Sonic it made love to Tails. Fucking going? Him, calling his sweet little Kobito, Japanese for lover. <laughs> What's the point of that? It's just for lover. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's having their sweet little koi bito, Japanese for lover. It sounds, it sounds Spanish. Kodito. Jesus. That day and night was the first of many, and Sonic and Tails lived happily ever after. The end. Current mood, horny. There you go. Wow. Wouldn't what that again? A pretty fucked up story. And that's what I'm gonna do to you, Spooky, this fucking Monday, you bitch. Come get some. <laughs> Monday, Monday, Monday. When we talk calmly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Polite conversations have never been so rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, um... <laughs> oh, my God. In the tags of the story, there's a soldier boy tag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that was pretty Frank fucking did. terrible. That was what? That was, that was probably one of the most awful things I've ever heard. Right? So Ghost Pokemon sent us one she wants you to read. Me? Again? I mean, do you think Dad could do it? Do you think anyone oh, could understand him? Dad's oh, busy. No. Actually, Waifu could probably do it. Waifu yeah, Waifu. I read like a retarded third grader. <laughs> well, that's probably how the author sounds. But okay, fine, I'll do it. Alright, All right, Ghost Pokemon, did... DM it to me. Yeah. So... Hey, by the way, Ghost Pokemon, we have a message for you. Nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> Sorry. Inside joke. All right. So, Tamara, how do you feel like as a person after reading that? Honestly, when you read it, you kind of just get in the zone. You don't really think about it. You know, like I kind of had an erection, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I felt like Sonic. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. Fuck, that was the joke I was going to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Cersei's in the chat. Who the fuck? Cer oh, Cersei. I know who that is. I stopped Hi, myself. Cersei. But, uh, salt. What if the people watch I don't know this? who that bitch is. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Word up, Cracker Jack. Yeah, I'm I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near drunk enough. Waifu, why are you doing this? I was really fucked. All right, do you want me to read this story now? Did she send it to you? Yeah. Yeah, what's yeah. the title? Hey, Dad. The Gardevoir and her trainer. That Pokemon is pretty hot. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 No, I didn't say nothing. You said it's like, Wife, what did you say? I was just saying, uh, what build are you going for, Dad? I don't know, I'm making it up. <laughs> well, I make the meta. <laughs> oh shit, Dad, I finished I just finished that area. I'm in the archives right now. Alright. Gardevoir and her trainer. Oh no. Oh god. She has been getting very vivid dreams. Very erotic dreams of her own trainer. Oh, I gotta I gotta check my DM, sorry. Someone sent me a message and you know, I gotta check my DMs. Oh, it's hot. Alright, sorry, no, I was just getting nudes. Don't worry about it. You're not supposed to tell people that I sent you those live. No, 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 no. Sir, she sent me some nudes, you know what I'm saying? Uh. No, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, she sent me nudes. Okay. Want to see them? Should I send them to you? No, I, I'd prefer not. Alright, I'll send them to you. I just have to send them to you. Just don't tell anyone I sent you, okay? Okay. I think Joaquin would get pretty bad. You know? Yup. Read your story, boy. Yeah. No, no, I gotta send you the news, though. Yeah, what? read your story. This what? makes me so fucking nervous. There you go. That's what you sent me under the, uh, the quest for nudes. Thanks, Cersei. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tamro. You're welcome. <laughs> Isn't he hot? Yep. <laughs> Ugh. Oh God! Oh come on, he's hot. Don't worry. About it. Okay. Anyways, oh, she has been getting very vivid dreams, very erotic dreams of her own trainer. This is how it all happened. A very normal day for her, battling strong trainers in solo battles and team battles with her trainer's other Pokemon. Well, she usually calls her trainer Master. Eve, ever since he saved her life as Waltz, who almost drowned in a river. Am I supposed to know this lore? Drowned in a river after trying to forage for, forage for some food to eat, or eat, along with tripping over the small hilltop that nestled near the riverbank. Her master, a young, strong male trainer, strong, white, straight male trainer, around 18 years old, 
jumped into the river and came to her rescue. Since then, after the boy grabbed her and pulled her to shore, taking the entire week to get her back to full health, along with restoring her back to 100 percent Okay. Seems pretty tame so far, Ghost Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, God. Just a man in his Gardevoir. Yeah. I don't like the way God intended. I don't like, like the build-up. It makes... The more okay the build, the more nervous I get. Yeah, well, maybe she just sent you, like, like a decent fan fiction. There's no such thing. Well, 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 well yeah, I mean, that's what I meant. <laughs> Most fanfic, actually every fanfic, in my opinion, is I garbage. Actually, I remember when I was really young, I read this like fucking fanfiction about like Mario, but like Survivor. That was really engrossed by it. That was good. Am good I the only one? I've never read a fanfiction. This is the closest thing I've gotten. Mario, oh, yeah. okay. From that day I've never on. Listened to the story, so. What? I, I, I didn't listen to this story at all. You re you should have. It was really fucked. I like, I tuned in here and there, and Jesus fucking Christ! Listen to it. He's on the quest for the bed of chaos. So soldier boy up in this hole. Watch me rape. Watch me roll. <laughs> oh, that's good, Ash. All right, shit. Oh, close to me. This is hard. Okay, from that day on, it's just like I see so much and I get devoted. From that day on, she vowed to repay him in some way or any means possible. That's when the dream started. It was after she evolved into a Kirlia after a gruesome battle against one of the Team Aqua or Magma. She didn't know, since the uniforms were ridicules. <laughs> since then, she's been sneaking some peaks and following her trainer every time he would get the chance. Wait, every time he would get the ch Is this a he? Whatever. Wait, are, I don't oh, know. Ho, ho, it gets spicy. This is so annoying with like the bad grammar and shit. Like, uh, or takes a shower along with her trying hard not to get caught by him when she watches him or follows him. But alas, she knew it wouldn't be healthy for a Pokemon to fall in love with a master and trainer. Though she would chat with the other Pokemon partners and was surprised how much they praised for the boy, <laughs> especially Blaziken. Of course, she knew that the starter Pokemon spent most with the trainer, but the way he had trained them and helped them along with helping them problems is what got Kirlia to get more attracted to the boy, especially when the a trainer... Oh my god, this is so much fucking gibberish, Ghost Pokemon. Do I have to read this shit? Ghost Pokemon, where are you? Are you just trying to ruin the stream? <laughs> the stream is already ruined. Nah, whatever, you love it. Dual so right Alright. He's getting his berg. Alright, I'm gonna skim it and see what happens. Alright, here we go. I'll read the dream part. Uh, it's just like generic shit, but whatever. So yeah, no, this is just like pretty fucking tame, those Pokemon. This is just like a generic fuck fanfic. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that shit. Did she maybe send her own fanfiction? Yo, Pop. He's gone to get the Berg. Oh. He's All been right, well, for it. I think she sent her own fanfiction. Wait, what? The Burger. Oh, I thought you said lusting for birds. Well, I just call burgers Berg. Berg. B-U-R-G. I'm, I'm Berg. back. Why? What are you fucking idiots doing? Yeah, no, she just sent us, like, the first fanfiction she ever read. Like, it's just, like, a generic... Fiction. Damn it, Pokemon! Yeah. Yo, you Sean John Ron. Sean John Ron, I reckon you you uh you go back a little bit and you can see me reading one of the most disgusting fan fictions ever. Hmm. Let's see if I can pick something out. All right, yeah, we'll yeah. find something. God damn it, Pokemon! Yeah, she just like like ugh, like it's just like generic. Like, I'd read that shit if I was into Gardevoir. Hell yeah. Where's the one she sent me? Oh, after that shit. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, she she sent it to me and said it was um, not safe for work. Well, yeah, it's not safe for work, but it's like, you know, like Pornhub is not safe for work. Doesn't mean it's interesting. Our conversations are not safe for work, so. Nigger, 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 nigger. All right, here, I sent you one. It's apparently about Shadow and Sonic fucking. Okay. Is this, is this their stream speed reading shit? I don't like one. Or you, you have tried this one. You want to try this one? Me? Yeah. I just got my fuck off. <laughs> just got my fucking food. No, I said waifu hunter. You oh, thank God. Hunter. I don't want to listen to your voice for that long. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I picked a little something out. Uh, oh. Something that I'd come across before. How about you read it? It's perfect for um, pop uh, eating. <laughs> I want you to bite in. Bite it. Get real good. Enjoy that beef, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that beef patty, hell yeah. Really, get into the yolk of the egg, if you can. It's a really good burger. I'm upset now. <laughs> I'm going to look at chat when I say this one. Um, Hey, Ghost Pokemon, have you ever heard of a little something called Cloud Mows the Lawn? What? Oh, I'm so glad you don't know what it is, Pop. <laughs> yeah, what? What's that? <laughs> oh, I, I can't spoil it, but uh, if she kn if she knows... No, okay, here we go. <clears throat> it's real short, too, that's the great Oh, yeah, there's, there's liquor in that. Oh, I thought that was just Pepsi. Fuck. Woo! <laughs> Beth oh. Cloud mows the lawn by Rasso. Tiffa knelt by the window with her arm... With her arms were rested on the window, so already we're at a good start. <laughs> You see, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Window sill. She sighed in contentment, gazing outside. Cloud was out front, mowing the lawn. His shirt was off, which was a big turn-on for Tiffa, his wife of two weeks. Tiffa laughed as she realized she could stare at him all day. She was rather sad he would finish eventually. He worked out every day, and his chest really showed that. He was, he was the sexiest man Tiffa ever saw. That didn't make Tiffa fall in love with him, though. They grew up together. They had secret crushes on each other throughout adolescence. Cloud proposed to her the day after their long adventure, and she immediately accepted. She would never forget that moment, when she felt like she and Cloud were alone in space. They married a week after he proposed, and were rarely seen outside after that. Anyways, back to the story. <laughs> Tiffa was in the master bedroom on the second floor of their new house, watching the man of her dreams cut the grass. The twenty cut that grass. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> cut that fucking grass. The twenty-year-old woman was watching him mow the lawn for the seventh time. It was a hobby of hers, and the fact that they had a huge yard and that it would make <laughs> Cloud take an extra long time to cut it. That might be the gayest <laughs> hobby I've ever fucking heard of. Hey, dude. All right, I'm back. What, what, what do I uh, walk into now? Yeah, don't worry about so, it. Quit reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, well, actually, what, what's part, the name though. of this? What are we reading? It's called uh, Cloud Mows the Lawn. And Waifu made me nervous. So I'm eating my food literally as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, wolf that shit down, man. It's a plot twist somewhere yeah, around nice, here. So you I, can puke it back up. <laughs> hey, no, Tamara, that's special effects, bro. Who's the fuck is Tamarin? <laughs> Don't you mean Tamro? Whatever, people say my name wrong all the time. I said it's Tamara, five didn't I? Did I say Tamarin? I heard Tamarin. I heard Tamarin. <laughs> Mandarin? Oops. Mandarins are good oranges. Oops. People say Tamaro. Yeah. So, uh, where do you think this one's going? Uh, like, let, let's get a let's get a feel. Like, what kind of degeneracy are we going to be experiencing? Well, I'm feeling a lot of foreshadowing with the the mowing the lawn. I think he's going to mow her. Oh, I think he's going to get tired of her fucking staring at him, just running her up with the lawn like mower. A, I'm trying to mow the lawn. <laughs> this is some four porn. What? Oh, <laughs> what gave you that impression? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Watching how strong he was, she would not move for anything. Suddenly, Tiva felt a slight rumble in her stomach, but she ignored it. She was having too good of a time watching Cloud. The best par in th the best par the the mowing routine was the end, when he would come upstairs to shower. Right before he entered the bathroom, 
he would ask Cloud if they could take a shower together. They would always end up kissing throughout the shower, and they would leave in a better mood than ever. He was so sure he would let her shower with her that she was not wearing any underwear under her black miniskirt. She felt her stomach rumble again and sighed. She didn't really want to leave. She wanted to tay-tay there for the longest time, watching the husband do the yard. <laughs> of course, she knew he would do it again and again and again. But she cherished every minute of watching him. She could not bear to stop. Tip of stomach rumbled again, louder than the first two times. She realized she had to think of what to do, and quickly. She could run and return immediately, but then she would miss some of the lawn mowing. <laughs> What the hell? Is she gonna fuck the lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off. man, that lawnmower. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, cut that grass, baby. Oh, yeah. That motor's getting me going. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, do you think it's a motorized one or just like one of the push ones, the old school? I think it's one where you push it and it just goes, fuck yeah, every time you push it. <laughs> oh, oh, a, rare, a rare Worski. I got, I got that brand. It's kind of retarded. That's what we use here at the office. They barely fucking work. They stutter a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Damn. Hell yeah. Oh, God. I guess keep fucking going. For second Resume. Off. <laughs> For second. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> her second Sorry. option was to stay and clean up after herself, but the fear of getting caught made her feel uneasy. This feeling caused her stomach to rumble more. Tifa looked down. The floor was brand new and a very expensive tile. It was not a very pleasant, <laughs> pleasant idea for her to mess it up. Whatever, Tiffa muttered. When a girl's got a shit, a girl has to shit. What? The black skirt was actually a wraparound, and it was easy to remove. Soon, she was bottomless. Tiffa took a deep breath and closed her eyes. She just took a shit on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a woman or like a poorly trained dog? What the fuck? Is this spooky <laughs> weeb trash? <laughs> she pushed and grunted. It is spooky weeb trash. trash. So she felt her anus stretch. Sorry, I was giving sound effect. Continue. Isn't it? <laughs> she said aloud while pushing and grunting. A crackling sound filled her ears as a turd finally slid out of her body. It was a hard one. Dark brown and compressed together. Oh, I hate that shit. This is making me sick. <laughs> and boy, did it stink. Tiffa didn't mind the smell of her own droppings, but she knew it'd be... Oh. Droppings? Oh my god. It would be difficulty to get away with this, with Tiffa's shit sitting on the floor. <laughs> as she felt... Oh. As she felt slightly relieved, Tiffa let out a long, gassy fart. She gave oh. <laughs> I'm so sick right now. Who is into this? Who the fuck wrote this? Um, it says by a <laughs> Mr. Medicare. <laughs> you know what um, I like? I just like to imagine like her being like, "Yo, mow the lawn again." He's like, "I just did. Just do it. Just do it." <laughs> and she's sitting there. He comes back and he's like, "You took a fucking shit on the floor while I was mowing the lawn." You stupid hoe. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I can't handle this shit. I, I want a divorce. <laughs> Alright, I get it. You want me to mow the lawn seven times a day? I'll do it. I don't want you shitting in my house. Woman. I can't save the world because I'm constantly mowing the lawn, you dumb fuck. I'm starving. Oh and what do you do for me? You shit on the floor. <laughs> she giggled, for she tended to have gassy poops. Her relief soon ended, however, as she felt another log traveling from her cold oh, to her rectum. She I'm, pushed I'm, it done, I'm done eating. <laughs> this is what happens when you eat too much fiber. <laughs> she pushed really upset. That was, that was a really good hamburger. I'm pretty upset now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to down the and I'll feel better afterwards. Maybe <laughs> you just need to take a shit on your tile. <laughs> just let one out. Let it rip. Just no. fucking stand up from your computer. Take a shit on the floor. God, God I have, forbid you have, have to go to the bathroom. Floors. Just sit down, squat, and shit on the floor. <laughs> Watch Tamro mow the lawn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mow that lawn, baby. Mow it. Mow the lawn from the fucking wheelchair. <laughs> We're one paragraph away. We're almost there, boys. Come on. Is it, is, isn't there an app for that? 
from melon in the wheelchairs. I don't know. I'm not fucking crippled or Hispanic. He could get a drone with like. Right, I want the end. I want the end. It. Let the man finish. Two swaps of Dagobot next. <laughs> Is she a dog? A bitch. Ew, what a legend. I can't stop laughing. Mow that lawn boy. <laughs> Oh god, this is... She She pushed again, and the turd began to slide out. Unfortunately for poor Tifa, it got stuck halfway. Oh no. Is this wings? Is this wings? <laughs> Does Cloud have to come back for Bo in the lawn and be like, Oh damn it, you got your shit stuck in you again? <laughs> oh, I'll bet that feels good, said Cloud from behind. Tiffany oh, no. in shock. She was so focused on expelling what was in her gorgeous bowels. That Cloud finished the lawn and came up to the bedroom. So there she was, standing there in a white t-shirt, white socks, red sneakers, and no pants or underwear, with five <laughs> inches of shit sticking out of her ass in front of the love of her life. <laughs> if it began to cry, and Cloud approached her and hugged her. <laughs> she, didn't care for her sh she didn't care her shirt became drenched with his sweat. She wanted her man. A bit of you. <laughs> she even felt a bulge in his pants and realized oh, no. that her taking a dump turned him on. Wait, hold on. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is 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 the is the is the thing she's feeling his penis or is it a shit that he had? <laughs> it's just in his pocket. He's safe. <laughs> <laughs> I had this from last time I mowed the lawn. I figured I'd keep it. <laughs> oh god, it's like Cinderella but with shit. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta wait till you take the right shit. Shitterella. <laughs> Shitterella. <laughs> oh, I wanna die. <laughs> We're almost there, boys. Oh. The same thing we do for 10 viewers. Hey, to, guys. To the, <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on? Cloud like the stream. Oh. Oh no, you're not I'm not gonna cuck our audience like this. To Tiffa's surprise, Cloud turned her around and lowered her onto her hands and knees. Oh no. He was puzzled at first, wondering what he would do. Oh, oh that my god. That puzzle was soon solved oh. as Cloud guided his dick word word, her anus, and the shit that hung from it. Cloud moaned as Tiffa's warm. <laughs> is, is, for, for the, is he sticking his penis into the, the constipated asshole of his woman? Yes. <laughs> Clap oh, out his tip is warm poo. Are we sure she, I'm oh. sure that Tifa isn't the dog? <laughs> That'd be a pretty cucked ending. <laughs> <laughs> they had had anal sex many times before, but never with a huge turd stuck in his ass. <laughs> Oh god. Suddenly Klaus Dick set the poop that had been stuck in Tiffa's ass free. <laughs> expelled turd turd. <laughs> Tiffa farted again, and Cloud felt a pleasant breeze on his member. Thanks, Tiffa exclaimed. <laughs> hey, no problem, said Cloud. I'm gonna shower. Wanna get in there with me? And Oh man, it should have ended with him gonna go to boat a lot again. Oh god. Well there you go. Um for two shows in a row I'll be talking shit. <laughs> oh I'm so upset. That was so fucking bad. Oh man. <laughs> Hold on, oh, honey. Let Why me help food? you. I'll get Why the shit food? out. Can Let you please read the swamps of Dagobah? <laughs> Does this give you my thing? I Do just you guys know what that show. is? Do you guys no. know what that is? We don't and read the shit fanfic and giggles. Yeah, wait, 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 wife, what are you talking about? You read that pretty good. Yeah. You read it pretty good. Let's get an encore. Yeah. Because I want to kill myself, so maybe this will do me in. Um, so, <laughs> uh, for our viewers, there are sequels. So, let's get some uh, ones in the chat if you want to hear uh, Cloud Mows the Lawn Part 2. Oh. Maybe get Pop to read it? Oh. Yeah. We got oh. to shift the reading duties. Oh, you said duty. <laughs> Waves, you want to read it? No. I could read it. Yeah. If All right, you Waves. send it in the Discord. Wife, you hit him up with the link. Oh. All right, let me, I gotta go find it first. Let's see. Shit. I'm almost alone. Or how about, how about Waves? How about you read Dago? Whatever. You can read oh, Dago. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll read Dago. Bob. I'll find one for me, and then Wife, who can read his sequel. Oh, God. Tamro, find one for me. No, no, you aren't reading. 
I don't have to. Maybe I can. No. Well, Jurassic Park came out a while ago, so maybe I can find. Um... Are you looking for a Jurassic Park <clears throat> fanfic? Are you trying to find a bitch get fucked by a dinosaur? Yeah, by a raptor. <laughs> More like a raptor. All right, Wave. Just let us know when you're ready, and we'll shut up. Okay, I'm ready. So, um, Swamps of Dagobah is a story from an Ask Reddit uh, response post. Or it's a comment reply to, to a post on Re Ask Reddit. But the title was, uh, Doctors, Nurses, Redders, what has been your most gory, disgusting, or worst medical experience on the job? And this uh, OR nurse, <coughs> sorry, this OR nurse replies and says, my patient was... A 314-pound Native American woman who barely fit on the stretcher I was transporting her on. She was rolling frantically side to side and moaning in pain, pulling at her clothes and muttering Hail Marys. I could barely get her name out of her after a few minutes of questioning, so after I confirmed her identity and what we were working on, I figured it was best to just get her to the anesthesiologist. So we could knock her out and get the circus started. Get the circus started. <laughs> this is uh, pop. You're done eating your food, right? I hope so. Yeah, I'm she not. She continued hungry. her. She continued her theatrics the entire ten minute ride to the OR, nearly falling off the surgical table as we were trying to put her under anesthetic. We see patients a lot like this, though chronic drug abusers who don't handle pain well, who have used so many drugs that even increased uh, levels of pain medication don't even simply touch because of high tolerance levels. It should be noted that tonight's surgical team was not exactly wet behind the ears. I've watched an 88-year-old man tear a one-inch diameter catheter balloon out of his penis. Oh, my screaming, goodness. You'll never, you'll never make me talk. I've been, <laughs> I've been attacked by an HIV pause. <laughs> positive neo-nazi <laughs> i've seen some shit the other nurse had been in the or as a trauma specialist for over 10 years the anesthesiologist had done residency at level trauma <laughs> level one trauma center or as we call them knife and guns club ba, ba, ba. Right, i'm skipping because there's a lot of like stupid shit in here um unbeknownst to us ah oh, here it is the surgeon steps up with a scalpel, sinks the tip in, and at the exact same moment, the patient had a muscle twitch in her diaphragm, and just like that, all hell broke loose. Unbeknownst to us, the infection had actually tunneled nearly a foot into her abdomen, creating a vast cavern full of pus, lot of tissue, oh. and fecal batter oh, that had no. seeped outside of her colon. No! Oh. <laughs> this godforsaken <laughs> mixture came rocketing out of that little incision oh. like we were recreating <laughs> the, the funeral scene for Jane Austen's Mafia. Oh. We all wear waterproof gowns, face masks, gloves, hats, the works, all of which were as helpful as rain boots against a fire hose. The bed was in the middle of the room, an easy seven feet from the nearest wall, but by the time we were done, I was still finding bits of flesh pasted against the back wall. As oh. the surgeon continued to advance his blade, the torrent just continued. The patient kept seizing against the ventilator, not uncommon <laughs> during this surgery. And with every muscle contraction, she shot out more of this brackish gray-brown fluid out onto the floor, and so within minutes, it was seeping onto the other nurse's shoes. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna sip some water for a sec. It's like popping a pimple, but it's filled with shit. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. All right. <coughs> I was nearly 12 feet away. Jaw dropped open within my surgical mask. Watched the second, <laughs> watching the second nurse dry heaving and the surgeon standing on tiptoes to keep this stuff from so soaking his socks any further. The smell hit them first. Oh, God, I just threw up in my mask. The other nurse was out. She tore off her mask and sprinted out of the room. Shoulders still heaving. Then it hit me, mouth still wide open, not able to believe that the volume of liquid this woman's body contained. I was like getting a great, it was like getting a great big bite of despair and apathy that permeated this woman's life. I couldn't fucking breathe anymore. My lungs simply refused to pull in any more of that stuff. Um, 
Jesus. Another geyser of pus splashed across the front of the surgeon. The YouTube clip of David at the dentist keeps playing in my head. Is this real life? <laughs> in all operating rooms everywhere in the world, regardless of socialized or privatized, secular, religious, there is one thing that is the same. Somewhere there's a bottle of peppermint extract concentrate. Every one department knows where it is. And you rub it in the inside of your mask because it smells like shit. Oh. Um, psh, psh, psh. I darted back into the room with the next best thing I could find. A vial of Matasol, which is an adhesive rub we sometimes use for bandaging. And it smells kind of like peppermint. Oh, no. Uh, They're huffing fucking glue. Jesus. I started rubbing as much of the mask to stall as I could on the inside of my mask, just glad to be smelling anything except whatever smi smi <laughs> slimy demon spawn we just cut out of this woman. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dumb stuff I love to read. I stepped back into the OR suite, not wanting to leave the surgeon by himself in case he genuinely needed help. <laughs> it was like one of those overly artistic representations of a zombie apocalypse you see on fan forums. Here's this one guy in blue surgical garb standing ne nearly ankle deep in lumps of dead tissue fecal matter and several liters of syrupy infection. He was performing surgery in the swamps of Dagobah. Except the swamps had just come out of this woman's ass and there was no Yoda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he and I didn't say a word the next 10 minutes as he scraped the inside of the abscess until all the dead tissue was out. The front of his gown, a gruesome mixture of brown and red, his eyes squinting against the stinging vapors originating directly in front of him. I finished my paperwork, helped him stuff the recently vacated opening full of gauze and taped this woman's buttocks closed to hold the dressing for as long as possible. <laughs> Till then, I only heard of alcohol showers. Turns out 70% isopropyl alcohol is about the only thing that can even touch a scent like that once it's soaked in your skin. It takes four or five bottles to get really clean, but it's worth it. Oh. As we left the locker room, the surgeon and I looked at each other, and he said the only negative sentence I heard him utter in two and a half years of working together. That was bad. The end. <laughs> Oh, TLDR, don't shoot, don't shoot AV drugs into your tank, kids. And that is the Swamps of Dagobah. Welcome. All right, my turn. No, give me a second, Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear, don't worry, this one starts out pretty mild, so. Oh, God. I, I, you I, know I, what, I, that, that, uh, that last story that was read off before mine... Where it's like the the fucking the asshole that look that sounds like that South Park mm -hmm. episode where they're writing the most obscene book ever. I forget the name of it, but it's like Scrody McBooger Balls or something. <laughs> Scrody McBooger Balls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he he had the pee come out. He had the poop come out of his pee hole. <laughs> hey Dan, can we get a hamster? I always wanted one, but my roommate never thought we would look after it. Phil, we've talked about this. You wouldn't look after it properly. You hardly look after yourself, he retorted. That wasn't really an angry way, but he never even took that into account. I was older than him. I've lived by myself before, so getting a hamster wouldn't be that bad. I decided not to argue. Dan was stubborn and wouldn't change his mind. I was going into town later on anyway, so I needed to get changed, and I put on my usual of skinny jeans and the top on. Um... Basically, they go out, they buy the hamster, uh, they, they call it Striker, and, uh, and uh, here we go. All right. I woke up during the night, my body freezing cold. I was unable to move. I, know, I, I, think, I, know, I think I know which one this is, and I'm really upset. I opened my eyes, and they were wide with shock. I looked down, I was naked with ropes tying me to a chair, and in the corner was a sinister-looking Dan that was also naked. Morning, sleeping beauty. I was wondering how cold the room had to be for you to wake up. His voice sounded so fluffy. and Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. It's so fluffy and innocent, but the words coming out weren't. He was only wearing his fluffy brown hat. He was pulled off to reveal a small black creature sitting in it. Striker, the hamster. What the fuck was he doing? I don't normally swear, but in this situation, 
I was so confused and terrified. What was Dan going to do to me? D -d -d Dan, what, what are you doing? Why am I tied up? Why? I stopped when he, he moved towards me. His expression changed from being happy, like when I woke up, to being murderous. Don't be scared, Phil. We're going to have some fun with Stryker. He, cracked, he cackled menacingly and showed off his erect member, making mine start to rise. He put the hat down, and Stryker still sitting in it, and faced it with his length the perfect height to aim into it. Dan, what, what, what are Dan, what are you doing? P please, stop. He stormed over to me and gave me a rough kiss. Everything will be okay, I promise. Dan grabbed a gag from behind me and put it over my mouth. He walked back over to the hat and began to stoke. What the fuck does stoke mean? That to Wait, what? Walked over back to the hat and began to stoke. Uh, like stoke the fire, like try to get it going? Uh, nope, nope. He's looking over at the hat with a hamster in it. Whatever. Look. Did he mean stroke? Camera. Oh, did the shit drop? Brian. He he just dropped that at a call. That's good. I uh, so confused by that word that he, he fucking uh, had a stroke. Oh, he God. just had a stroke, yeah, and dropped. <laughs> Thank God, I need a break from. The How's everyone doing? I'm just kind of checking. Doing good. She asked you if she'd want to uh, mow the lawn. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Wait, wait, Faye. This is fucked. <clears throat> this was supposed to be one fan fiction. Why is it the whole show now? <laughs> no, no. I don't want to be associated with any of this. Of your fucking stream. <laughs> autism. Autism everywhere. Oh, that's great. Hey, did you see that pop? Space bitch would watch you mow the lawn. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I can see pop mows the lawn happening very soon. Pop doesn't mow a lawn. I pay people. Pop can do anything he puts his mind to. I pay people to do it for me. <laughs> I don't. I don't do mow the lawn. Stone Mexican guy? No, it, I've, I pay some Mexican guy. <laughs> I think his name's either Jesus, Juan, or Julio, or none of those. I just assume his name's probably like Edward or something normal, but I just call him Juan when I see him. I wonder if it's considered racist. It probably is. Where the fuck is he? How bad did his internet die? Like, he must have gotten EMP'd. This always He's happens. Like, just completely fucked over? Look, uh, his internet must be okay. Cause so, uh, uh, what do you guys think about the, uh, the trap no state? Gas it. Uh, what do you guys think about, um, an ethno state, but only if you're into cheetos? What? You heard what I said. You are out of ideas right now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of struggling for right now. I was, I'm still like mentally destroyed from the swamp story. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty upset from all of these. Because <laughs> you can't fucking eat. <laughs> I'm literally just drinking my water and staring at a wall, contemplating life now. I just wanted to enjoy the burger I ordered. The fuck, you guys. <laughs> Like really? Hey, I've never, I've never been to In and Out. How is that place? It's amazing. It's fucking incredible. It's better like, than anything on the shit West Coast. East Coast, you mean? Oh, I know what I said. Everything else here sucks dick. I hate this. Oh place. boy, Jesus, you hate the place. Nah, I, I had Shake Shack for the first time and it was garbage. <laughs> really? Like, I do they only have like three or four flavors? I don't know. I had a oh. peanut butter shake and it was meh. What? Peanut butter shake. Yeah, we have Five Guys. You've ever had Five Guys? No, I'm not a faggot. Oh, yeah. Queen has. His, have you ever had Sonic? Uh, sadly, yeah. Uh, oh! 
Ugh. Very fucked up story. I went to Sonic one time. Uh, I was taking... I was in an Anaheim, and I was going there with my ex after we left Disneyland because I wanted... This is little... already sounding pretty gay. It, it's super gay. But we went to order, and we were <laughs> like 45 minutes waiting, and then we saw we saw cockroaches crawling all over the fucking like ordering machine, and I'm like, no, we're leaving. I'm not fucking eating here. That's no, 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 no. What's the sign? Yeah. Like what? Like Madagascar hissing cockroaches? It's part of the I'm... wildlife, you intolerant bigot. That's their <laughs> culture. Stop, Waves. No. That's their culture, man. That's their diversity. Gotcha. Oh, God. No, it, it, Where's they were Mal? Cockroaches? What? Can they're we shout out Mal for being dumb? Can we do that? What? Yeah. Tamro, you're back. Oh, hey, fucker. Oh, he's muted. Did, okay, Tam? Did I really just read a fan fiction to myself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How far did I go? I guess you did. How long did I go? How far did I get? Okay, so you, you know disconnected part... like two minutes ago. So, Tamro, you know the part where you said, did I just read a fan fiction to myself? Yeah. That's the last part we got. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. <gasps> <laughs> How bad is this one? <laughs> okay. Do I do it again? Yeah, I guess if you That's can. That's funny. All right. Whatever. Now I can get the tone right better. Okay. So basically, to sum up the the, I'm not gonna read the fucking intro again. But uh, basically, these two guys named Dan and Phil, they go out and buy a hamster, and they name it uh, Striker. All right. Yeah, we, got, we got to that part. Oh, okay. Good. So did you yeah. get to the waking up in the middle of the night? Yeah. Yep. Uh, being tied up? Yep. 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 Um, yep. Giving him a kiss? Yep, that's that's about it. I think that, yeah. Yeah, I think that might have been the end. It was around there, and then you cut out. Okay. So, so you didn't read all of it to yourself. Yeah, so don't be scared, Phil. We're going to have some fun with Stryker. Uh, the hamster. He cackled menacingly and showed off his erect member, making mine start to rise. He put the hat down, Striker sitting in there, and faced it with his length of his, with his length the perfect height to aim into it. Dan, what are you doing? Please stop. He stormed over to me and gave me a rough kiss. There we go. Everything will be okay, I promise. Dan grabbed the gag from behind me and put it over my mouth. He walked back over to the hat and began to stroke. Oh yeah, I remember. He began to stroke, looking over to me as he did. After a short time, his seed exploded into the hat, but he didn't stop there. He kept going until the hat was filled up to the top. The white liquid was nearly spilling over the top, and my poor Jesus. hamster was barely able to breathe. It was what doing the, the doggy paddle fuck? just to survive, and all I could do was sit and watch. Dan grabbed the hamster's head, pushed it down into his own sperm. After five minutes of his sick games, he pulled it back up, dead. He snapped the hamster's head off, the neck bones shattering and making me mumble. Did Hillary Clinton write this? Jesus. <laughs> making me mumble, but, you know, I Did was trying Soros to Did Soros write this? Uh-oh. I cannot. I can neither confirm nor deny this. Yeah. Tears, uh... tears flowed down my face. Yeah, tears flowed down my face, and he squeezed the blood of Stryker into the hat. He looked over. He was sick and twisted, but also kind of sexy. Oh, no. And moved towards me. When with one hand, he undid the gag. Open wide, he said in a sarcastic way. Oh, stop. I, Sarcastically. That's the opposite of sarcasm. <laughs> it's oh. like we're doing this. <laughs> I did as I was told. I didn't know what else was hiding behind me. He began to pour the sperm and hamster blood mixture into my mouth, only for me to realize he had put my poor hamster back in there, head and body. The fluid tasted disgusting, partly because it had gone cold, but also because I knew it was the hamster's blood I was drinking. <laughs> he pulled back... And semen, and don't forget the semen. Oh, you didn't mention that. <laughs> wow, not bad. Only, not, not that I am complaining, and said, Good little Phil, do I taste nice? My eyes widened. What do I say? I was about to open my mouth when he slapped me. Speak, bitch. Oh. I wanted to raise my hand again. My cold face stung when his hot, sticky hand touched it. <laughs> you, 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 you taste amazing, Dan. I, I managed to choke out. Yeah, I do. Time for more fun. 
I like him. He's confident. He's like me. All right. I didn't Tamara. like what? All Tamara. that to like, Tamara, stop this degeneracy right now. Stop. No, we're we're pulling the brakes on, emergency brakes on this. Yeah, oh, dude. Nigga, uh, what happened? <laughs> what off, happened? You, uh, please look in chat. Uh, people demand that you rename the stream. It's a good thing this isn't a democracy. I don't care what they want. <laughs> Tamra just so, dropped again because his internet bitched out. So we're not going to get poop up shop? <laughs> no. We're not getting the poop up shop. <laughs> I tried I'm, chat. I'm sorry. I'm monumentally horrified. This is. What? You don't want to know what happens next? Oh, God, he's back. Yeah. I was about to read, but I was like, oh, shit. Nope. Let me check. Hey, can we, can we get into some uh, Anne Frank fanfic? No, we have to finish this first. We didn't yeah, get to the good part. The good okay. part. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. I meant the bad part. Uh, yeah. The bad part. Yeah, I do. Time for more fun. I didn't like where this was going. He pulled the black body that was coated in white from the hat. Dam rammed it down my throat, causing my gas reflexes to kick in, and I vomited all down myself. Dan smirked at this and got on his knees. He began to lick all over me. His soft tongue was gliding all over me till it found its way to my throbbing erection. He started at the tip and worked all the way down, deep throating me. It felt so nice. Most people couldn't do this, but it didn't last long. He looked up to me, his innocent brown eyes making me melt. Innocent? Promise. What the fuck, nigga? Just killed your hamster and made you drink the cum blood. Yeah, what? He said, he said, promise you won't run. He sounded so sorry, so I nodded. What? He got up and untied me. He grabbed me by the shoulders. I'm going to lie you on the floor, and you are going to pour the rest of the hat on me and then lick it off. He growled. What Sweet, loving Dan fuck? was gone. I quickly nodded, and he got to the floor. I grabbed the hat and poured it on him, just as he commanded. I began to lick it off of him. The mixture wasn't as bad as last time. I think it's because I'm not having it forced down my throat. Yeah, that's why. Uh, suck me off, Phil. It sounded so weird, but yet again, I did as I was told. I wasn't as good as him. I could only fit half of him in my mouth before I felt sick. I was going on for what seemed like forever before he pushed my head away. You've done well, but there's one last thing I need you to do. He pulled out the hamster's head from the pile of leftover sick. When you say stop, I will, but only if I think you've done good enough. I started to shake and tremble. Dan put his arm around me. It's okay. Uh, it won't be that bad. Oh, he hushed God. me. He was so much nicer again. Are you ready? He asked me, a sense of impatience growing in his tone. Uh, uh, yes, yes, Dan. Dan. I stuttered out, and he quickly rolled me onto my front, his hand placed on the top of my back, pinning me down, the hamster's head in his other hand, nearing my rectum. I know where this is going. Oh, no. <laughs> he rammed it in with no hesitation, and a burning sensation spread throughout me. For the rest of it, he used his manhood to push it in. I wanted to say stop, but he wouldn't. I know it. Finally, I got too much, and I screamed out, stop! I looked back at Dan, who had just grinned. Come on, Phil. I know you can do better than that. And he forcefully went in further. Not quite all the way, though. Dan, please, I'm stop begging you. It's so sore. I pleaded, the burning sensation turning into a stabbing feeling, uh, being the, the hamster head that, that shoved in the ass that he's now uh, uh, fucking uh, Dan, Dan stroked my hair gently and pulled out of me. The hamster's head was still inside me. It felt horrible knowing that I had a dead animal's head sitting inside my intestines. Dan put his hand inside me, and he went deep. I cried out in pain. I felt like exploding. He finally showed me his hand with the head in it. I wished the torture was over, but I knew Dan would have any <coughs> plans. But this time, he didn't. And he wrapped around my arms, around my hips. He said, let's go to bed. He pulled me up as he said that, leaned in for a kiss, and, and so did he. And we walked down to my room, and uh, they slept. That's it. Thank uh, you for putting up the puppy stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, he woke up with uh, the hamster's body ahead in his mouth. Oh, yes. Of yeah. course. As, as is tradition. And it ends oh, with, uh, and, it, and the story ends with. Uh, and every month we buy a hamster. Oh God, Jesus! So, um, why? That's what the elites like. <laughs> why is it gonna be turn? Are you going to read part two, or am I? Do I get to read? Uh, I think you need to. <laughs> you need some uh, 
freedom. So uh, let's go to the <laughs> other side of fanfic where it's just so retarded. It's awesome. Good. Me? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I recommend uh, if you really want to get to kind of the meat and potatoes of that particular story, um, start your reading at... Uh, third paragraph. Those are some bottom. nice puppies. Oh God, let me let me pull it up on my fucking laptop so it's easier to read. Uh, it's buffering. Actually, the fourth one is pretty good. So, Wait, so start at the fourth paragraph. Fourth paragraph from the bottom. So, All right, there's the bottom. Someone there's say the bottom. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Pop, you should just click Dad's uh, profile image to throw up these puppies for the viewers. I already did. Oh, oh god! Oh, god. Go all right. So, all right. So I think mm. I may or may not. Oh. This is. Oh, look at them! Let's t- let's hit the light real quick so I can fucking see properly. <laughs> <laughs> look at them! They're so cute. Oh, oh, they're just right. plain. Oh. Disclaimer: I do not endorse any of the views expressed in this episode. Shut up! You enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so the name the name of this one is the end of time, and Anne Frank and Goku fanfic. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, so you said fourth from the bottom. All right. Yeah, that's where the good shit happens. <laughs> we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna start here. I'm, I'm gonna warn you. Um, I really channel my inner Andy Worski when I read. Mm. I'm retarded and I stutter a lot. So got it. You'll we'll get started add to the fan fiction. <sighs> Fuck yeah! Fuck <laughs> yeah! I want to die. After only a few moments, the two of them arrived in Berlin. Tanks were parading down the street as Adolf Hitler himself stood on the platform overlooking overlooking it all. Stay here, Goku said, dropping Anne in a shaded area under a tree. He then flew straight towards the parade of tanks, fist outstretched, screaming as loud as he could. The soldiers below scattered in terror while the tank tried to aim their cannons at him. He was quick and nimble for them. However, and op- however, and opened the hatch of the nearby Panzer, then headed inside after dispatching the soldier. After dispatching of the soldiers in control of the war machine, he took the wheel. They don't have wheels. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Take the wheel, <laughs> Goku. <laughs> He fired round after round into the crowd of Nazi soldiers, occasionally firing into other tanks. After only minutes, there was nothing but a cloud of dust and corpses. Fuck yeah, Goku. Goku Goku emerged from the tank hatch, smiling now that he had done his duty. When all dust had cleared, there were only two people remaining on the parade ground. Goku in San Hero and Adolf Hitler, the most evil man to ever walk the earth. Wait, hold on. Who's San Hero? Isn't that Trump? No, no, no. So I hear. Goku. Ugh. Hitler was not a bad boy. He was a good boy. He just did things poorly. <sighs> Six million wasn't enough. The Jews were asking right. for it. Victim blame. <laughs> Anne watched from nearby, nearby fearfully as she saw the two men stare at each other, from what seemed like for what seemed like hours. Her one true love and her ultimate oppressor. It had come down to this. So. Hitler I said, feel sick. <laughs> Hitler said jovially. I just keep thinking out. about the hamster in the ass. <laughs> oh, oh god! Just like in there and just shoving your dick, pushing. Oh. oh. You took you took out all my men. However, you aren't going to defeat me. Hitler then jumped down from his platform on the on. Jumped down from his platform and down onto the street in front of Goku. Pulling a chain gun from the ground nearby, Goku quickly jumped behind a ruined tank as Adolf opened fire. The tank made decent cover, but it wasn't long until it was torn apart by the hail of bullets. Jesus. Goku had to act. He dashed from he dashed outside from this out from the side of the tank and then flew as fast as he could towards Hitler, who had no time to react. He grabbed the chain gun of his enemies out of his enemy's hands and snapped it over his knee with ease. Hitler stumbled backwards, shocked at the time at the turn of events. Goku smirked. It's down it comes down to this. You and me fighting like men. If you admit defeat now, I'll kill you rather painlessly. Goku had the de- had the definite advantage, or so it seemed. Hitler burst out <laughs> into a laugh as Goku looked on quizzically. The mustachioed man slowly rose into the air, all his brown hair, <laughs> his, 
and it has his brown Come hair. Come on, Andy Worski, so get out. <laughs> Sorry, this is hey, Andy Worski doesn't even no, this, you're, like this. You're, you're killing the climax. Let him read it. <laughs> the climax. <laughs> oh. Mustache, the mustache turned a blonde color. His brown eyes turned blue. Goku reeled in horror. <laughs> Hitler laughed and and then Did finally said, the <laughs> "Said Goku, you you came here expecting to fight a man, man, but instead you fight a god." Hitler had become a super <laughs> Saiyan. God, this is so dumb. <laughs> Did Anne Frank die already in this? <laughs> oh, God! What am I reading? Is why? What am I reading? Holy shit. You're, you're reading Goku fights Super Saiyan Hitler, which means Hitler was a Saiyan. <laughs> oh, God, I need to take a drink. Hold on. Hold um, on, shots. Um, yeah, we're just gonna take a shot. Yo, 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 watch out. Yo, uh, Dad is showing, like, actual tits on stream. Yo, fuck. Oh, it's just pop. You yeah. are a fucking NSFW. This NSFW. Oh, this down now. the stream. Oh man, this is hot. Look at how they suck on their tits. Mm. You I, meant that's, I meant that. I meant that's cute. I meant that's cute. Sorry. Type of. Ah, fuck. Mm -hmm. I spilled whiskey all over myself. Son of a bitch. That sounds like a whiskey move. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I just. <laughs> All right, drunk, you keep drinking the whiskey. I'm I'm not drunk. I'm just really uncomfortable. This you know is what? fucking retarded. I'm gonna <laughs> drink, okay? Wish me luck. You're gonna, yeah, you're that's gonna... what happens when you're drinking. Uh, wait, do I keep going or do I wait for Tamro? Well, I gotta be cool, guys. You know, so I gotta drink. Right? Beer, beer. It's not cool. We set this up beforehand, you cunt. I guess we'll wait for him. So, um, where'd you find this? And why? <laughs> Me? <laughs> well, uh, there, there have been uh, some fan fiction circles that I've kind of peered into. You always hear stories of like shit like My Immortal. And then there's always that one guy on the internet that goes, Oh yeah? Well, wait till you, you've heard of this. This is pretty fucked. Like, Actually, should... uh, have you ever heard of this? Harry Potter porn fanfic that has like 35 chapters. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, you haven't? No, I don't go to fucking fanfic shit. Alright. It's trying to find one which was a compilation of them called Historical Fan Fiction. I just has... I want to know why this fucker decided to... And Frank and Goku. Why? You don't think they're perfect? I don't understand. It's a level of tism I don't get. Just when, if you think about it, it really is the perfect couple, to be honest. How? I, he? Uh, how? Explain. Explain. Explain, bitch. I mean, they're just perfect. If you can't see it from like right off the bat, then you probably are just too dumb and wouldn't grasp it. Oh, God. Tamro needs to hurry. I, I, I am getting a little too toasted to finish this. <laughs> oh God! What is my what is what does my night become? How long have we been going? Others. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize I was still on mute. Great. Yeah, we're just waiting for camera to get back so I can finish this. Now your night has become tism. As have all your nights. It hurts I've met you. severely. Oh, there's feet. Gross. <laughs> is she going to start stomping on the puppies? Am I going to get like fucked with even more tonight? <laughs> That's yeah. how scared you are. No, it was cute. They were like in a in a pile of feed, and then one of them fell out of the pile, just like fell down and crawled back in. I don't trust any of you. I'm so fucking nervous. You're all fucking evil. Dad's the only good one. What the fuck? Yo, what's up? I'm back. All right, you're all ready right. I'm back. Worski. Just chugged a can. I'm good. What are you drinking, bitch boy? Coors Light, that's what I have. 
All right. He's a coarse man. Oh, I guess I'm weak. I sense we're, we're not freaking weak. There was a there was a there was a deal, so I just bought like a lot of them. But now I have to. I don't really drink, so. Yeah. Oh God. All right. Should I continue? Yes. My God, that puppy. <clears throat> Anne looked, Anne looked on in awe, not sure what was going <laughs> He on. just disconnected again. God fucking damn it. I don't care. I'm getting too wasted. Anne looked on in awe, not sure what was going on. At first, it seemed like her love would win the battle, but now, now she was not so sure. Goku now seemed scared of his opponent, and it was for a good reason. Hitler continued to speak. Goku, can't you see? I've reached a power level ten times anything you've ever achieved. Your fate is sealed, weakling. I, I don't know if you guys can't see, but I've got my fingers over my lip, so it looks like I've got a Hitler mustache, and I have the biggest erection I've ever had right now. <laughs> a method actor. Hell yeah. Oh, and that's why we're looking at the puppies. <laughs> <clears throat> He's getting that way from the puppies, man. Any sane individual would do that. Even though the battle seemed unwinnable, Goku charged charged it, charged in, screaming at the top of his lungs. Every blow he struck was deflected off of Hitler's rock hard body. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler waited for Goku to tire himself. Wait. Ti do, I don't Do you think Anne Frank is kind of like attractive? No, she's a pile of ash. Let me let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> Go ahead and check. I'm hey, going to keep reading. Hey, uh, chat. So, if you're ever curious, uh, Tamara will rate your dead Jewish daughter <laughs> how hot she is. Just send him pics. Yeah, it's a new it's a new, it's a, a new <laughs> service we're launching. Hold on. How old is she? 13, 14. Oh, what, shit. What's the service name called? <laughs> the Reich stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh God! Where oh, was wait, wait, wait! Why don't you call it the Reich Stoke Score? Because you're you're rating girls or dust a nut. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that's a little too much edge. Oh. Hitler's power level is over nine thousand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler waited, waited for Goku to tire himself out. And then he raised his fist and punched Goku. And one punch was enough. Goku was knocked across the street into a large propaganda poster of Hitler. Th of Hitler, thudding to the cold, hard ground. Hitler laughed, thinking the victory was in his hands at last. Goku, however, was not ready to give up. Bruised and battered, he rose from the ground, limping in Hitler's direction. The Nazi leader laughed. You still want to fight? Do you not? Do you not know when to give up, boy? You can hardly walk, and you expect me, the conqueror of Europe? <clears throat> Goku ignored Adolf's taunt as he continued to stumble his way forward. Finally, the two arch rivals were standing face to face. How the fuck are the arch rivals? They like just met. He's like kind of an inconvenience. Well, Sans most. essentially Jews. Oh, this is the. Oh god. Oh god. I just caught a glimpse of the first fucking line. Oh. All right. All right. And I need to take my glasses off. Son of a bitch. Have well, you seen the puppies? Just... Yeah, I don't see, see puppies. Them I just hit them. So fucking cute. I see this. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen into the void and it winked back. Fuck oh, this show. That's like um how dad looked at Spooky Weave Trash's asshole. Yep, I got closer than he ever did with this really? story. Oh. All right. So no, to the asshole. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. I no. I I still think I'd rather read the story than see that. Wait, hold on. Is that puppy humping his friend? Ew. Oh no. God, they raped Goku, stared in, Goku stared into Hitler's eyes and then screamed, "This is for love!" <laughs> <laughs> and flew flew up into the sky. His hair turned blonde, his eyes blue, and his aura is and an aura of power radiating from him. Hitler looked on in horror. Go, uh, Goku, he had made the ultimate achievement. He became super ultra power Saiyan Go. <laughs> <laughs> Goku made a cup shape with his hand, aimed it at Hitler, and belted out the words, Kame! Kame! Ha! <laughs> 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 
as the beam of pure energy shot his enemy, disintegrating the Nazi leader's body. Goku then collapsed to the ground in a heap, exhausted from the fight. Two years later, An and Goku had finally reached the date of their wedding. After the battle, An and Goku destroyed the time machine and took a boat to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, no, no, no. For clarification, that means that they got married at 14. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. E. Ah. They changed their names and lived the new and lived new lives, ready to start over. The two young people, uh, and a 20-year-old adult and a minor, uh, looked into each other's eyes as they kissed pedophilia. Oh. As, <laughs> as the Rev- the reverend pronounces them man and wife. Finally, it seemed Anne was at peace, and they would always be together. Hey, what? Until hey, hold on, shut up. Yeah. Why, why, is there, why, why is there a message on the screen saying I'm the worst? Is that on the stream? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought the Nazis and the Japanese were allies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was God. really good, thank you. That was so bad. I'm so upset. Even when why did like... Hitler have to, why, why did Hitler have to die? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> that that fight was kind of lame. That was yeah. super Inca. fucking lame. Hip, like if you go by the play by play without all the bullshit, Hitler grabbed a chain gun, sprayed it at Goku. Goku grabbed it, broke it over his knee. Hitler becomes Super Saiyan. Goku punches him. Hitler hits him once. Then Goku becomes Super Saiyan. And blast the Kamehameha wave. If that was in a fucking episode, you'd hate that. Also, for clarification, he destroys an entire German army in like two seconds. Yeah. But be- with a tank, not with like his Super Saiyan powers. Yeah, like there's no like like fighting. Like, it's just like instantly, you know, die. I like that he uses a tank and then he takes the chain gun away and says, We fight like men. <laughs> 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 like you did two seconds ago. <laughs> I don't think I don't think an intelligent human being wrote that. Or it's like a twelve year old because who why would you get married to Anne Frank? (laughs) (laughs) I just don't get like why. Or maybe they're just like, you know, maybe it's like the whole um what's her name? Uh Amanda Todd thing. Maybe they thought she was older. I thought she was older. Wait, I know that's the point. I was actually not even true, that's a lie. Wait, you knew she was a minor when you said that shit? Yeah, but it was a joke. I didn't actually look it up. Uh-huh. Oh, no, it's a uh, That makes it a whole lot worse. Shit. Oh, God. So, are you going to read yours, or can, can are we done? I'm I mean, done. I want to go. I mean, right, so I, read more. Yeah, t- Tamra had that. one drink, and he's Fucked. <laughs> I'm not fucked. I'm not drunk. Yeah, you can't get drunk. That listen, fast. To this, listen to this motherfucker. No, you can't get drunk that fast. So it doesn't matter. I've killed like a quarter of Jameson. Jesus, you bitch. Uh, do you want one? Uh, you don't get drunk that fast. I got a good one. Dad, you're going to read one. Oh, how about what one about dinosaurs? You like dinosaurs, Dad? I ain't reading shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have to. Everyone else has. Oh, I'm it's not reading all... these fucking garbage fan fictions. It's what all the cool kids do. Man. Hell yeah, come on. F- Don't find, you want to be find... cool? Waifu. Hmm? Yeah. Find one. Find a uh, kangaroo fanfic, please. Find an abo fanfic. Yes. Find a kangaroo fucking an aboriginal. No, no, no. Have an aboriginal fucking kangaroo. I mean, we could just find a historical doc- document. <laughs> Probably just look at like recent police records and you'd find it. Kangaroo. It's going to come up with Kangaroo Jack. Holy shit. Jack. Porn. I still ain't reading it. Please, come on, Dad. Nope. Just trust me, I've learned no matter how many times you ask your dad to do something, he's still gonna beat you. <laughs> dad, I, I'm way more shame than any any one of these autists. I'm not reading these fucking fan fictions. 
Come on, you have to. I refuse. I am not crossing that line. It is part of your fucking contract. We have contracts. I didn't sign shit. Yeah, I didn't sign shit. You both signed it. You may or may not have been slipped a roofie, but you still signed shit. I didn't sign shit. Yeah, what do you mean slipped a roofie? I will take that myself. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just, not, just, not just not offer it next oh, time, man. Well, I, it hold shit. on. I learned something really interesting while looking for this fanfic. Uh, kangaroos have three vaginas. <gasps> Whoa, I'm yeah. interested. <laughs> My burger has two eggs on it. I'm less interested. I'm interested. Fuck you. So, Cloud Mows the Lawn, Chapter 2. Oh, God fucking damn it! <laughs> Is this seriously a chapter 2? <laughs> There's a chapter 4. I just uh, want to know, like, how good does he get uh, mowing the lawn? <laughs> okay, no. okay, we have to read all the chapters now. We have oh, to God. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm intrigued by this one. Cloud mows the lawn. This one... <laughs> This one's interesting. Cause she just fucking she, <laughs> like, she just shits on the floor. She was watching it mow the lawn. She got so horny, she fucking shit on the floor. <laughs> like super deliberately. Like, like, I, I thought it would be like a, a fucking sloppy diarrhea issue or something. But no, she fucking full squats down and, and just lays a fucking log right on the floor. <laughs> Look at the puppies, they just lie like they're dead. Are they dead, do you think? No. Look at the hand rubbing the mama belly. Get in oh here. my god, he's sucking on that guy's dick. I bet That's she just not... wants a government ah! stick. That's why she had so many puppies. A fucking whore. Oh shit, fucking dog horns. Welfare dog. Look at toy Wait a second, how do dogs have that many puppies? Are those her puppies? Look, one of them has this little fucking tail wagon. Yeah, but like, how do you have that many? The stream is more entertaining. No, but that's I like start reading. one, two. Why is there the same three, amount of people watching four, both? Five, six. This is seven, fucked up. We have. Oh eight, wow. Nine, <laughs> there really are. Ten, Why even start reading, cunt? All, all right, right, here we go. Cloud and Tiffa. This is Sesame Street. You can't be counting. <clears throat> Tiffa struggled to breathe. She and Cloud were at their favorite mall, making out in their favorite corner. They were running their hands over each other, and they knew other people could see, but they didn't care. Tiffa had worn her tight pair of jean shorts today to show off her butt for Cloud. He always told her how her butt was pretty nice, so she wanted him to see as much as possible. Cloud put his hands on Tiffa's butt and pushed her into him. Tiffa giggled as she felt a bulge in Cloud's pants. Suddenly, Tiffa desperately freed herself from Cloud arms. She really had to poop. She told Cloud she needed to run for a second and disappear. Oh, jeez, where's the build-up? Holy shit. We right had the build-up. It was the moment It's chapter two. It's chapter two. Yep. This is the excitement after she shits on the floor. <laughs> oh, my bad. And then, and, then he, and then he plunges at a constipated ass with these dick. Didn't you know it. that Tiffa's part yak, she just shits constantly? <laughs> <laughs> you, it, oh it, my god, the they're, like, they're like little dogs. <laughs> they're like puppies or something. No, but like they're like little dogs, like miniature dogs. <laughs> It had only what the two. Fuck, Tamara, how do you get this fucked up just from one drink, Mike? I'm not. I can't be this fucked up. Right? You sound really fucked up, cunt. Oh, this is just gonna be a great stream to clip out for just like out of context uh, phrases. Oh God. It had only two stalls, and she was. That's why I'm not reading a fucking damn thing. <laughs> You boys are making mistakes. So Tiffa picked the one nearest to the window and locked the door. She unbuttoned her jean shorts and wiggled out of them. That sounds hot, but I know where it's going. <laughs> she hung them on the hook and slipped off her panties. Also putting the... Yeah, that's what you do with your phone. You're in a fucking stall. You just hang up your pants. <laughs> Let me just take off everything. I'm going to take a shit. Well, Are don't you, you guys do that? You guys don't shit naked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. no, I like to like sit on the stand on the toilet and just do it like caveman style standing up. You know? I like to see if I can get like the ten point aim. Yeah, you know yeah, you don't play that. Also it's really hard when it's like diarrhea and it, like sprays everywhere. It's like oh shit, you know. 
Well, that's when I Spider-Man it. I put my legs against each wall. <laughs> with I that, just, with that, she like... sat on the toilet, her butt dropping way down into the bowl with her cheeks being pulled apart in the process. She was very quiet in the bathroom, and Tifa was kind of spooked. She soon changed that, however, with a windy little fart. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Tiffa felt her butthole open up, and a little chunk of shit fell out with a splash. The splash seemed to echo forever in the quite restroom. She pushed a little, and two more chunks dropped one after another with loud splash. She was slightly disappointed, for she thought she was full of droppings. <laughs> Tiffa farted a few more times, and she felt her butt open again. The smile returned to her face, realizing that a big I'll be back went out this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, do my phone look for a second? Wow. You know, it, this isn't accurate because you only really fart when it's like really liquid and shit. Like, if it's hard dropping, you don't really fart. You just like have a chunk. Camera, do you realize what we're reading? You were expecting way too fucking much, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've never farted when I had little chunks. <laughs> yeah. Tifa found it weird hearing the crackle around her anus. The log slid out very slowly, and Tiffa could he hear and feel. Whoa, hold on. Could hear and fund feel it. Tiffa enjoyed the feeling of defecating. Knowing Cloud couldn't give her anal sex all the time, it was a good substitute. Tiffa's poo dropped without a splash. She looked down at it. It was about seven inches long and two inches wide, Jesus. which is normal for her. <laughs> To her horror, it was stuck halfway. Tiffa continued to push and grow. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> As oh, yeah. she... <laughs> As if she was in labor, but it was no use. The shit did not move. A tear this slid is a little down too relatable. Feet, realizing that she wasn't going anywhere for a while. Just then, to Tiffa's surprise, she heard the bathroom door open. I'll bet a girl named Tiffa is taking a dump in here. Hold up, does this nigga have, like, shit spidey sense? <laughs> <laughs> nigga mowing the lawn? He heard the groans. Oh, yeah, he did. He heard the groans. He's like, Anyone want to have a Vietnamese <laughs> landmine? <laughs> what, do you need help getting it out again? Or something? I'm gonna pull it out like a rope. <laughs> oh god. Nah, I'm gonna push it in and take it out. If I see oh. hamster head in this, I know I've gone too far. <laughs> Tiffa's face Jesus. turned bright red when she recognized the voice. It was Cloud. In here, Cloud, called Tiffa as she locked the stall door unlocked the stall door. She didn't care what she was doing. She wanted to be with Cloud again. <laughs> Jesus. Whew, Tiffa, what'd you eat? demanded Cloud as he opened the door. We just had a pepperoni pizza, Tiff replied Tiffa. What's taking so long? Um, I'm a bit constipated. A bit? Tiffa giggled. Let me see, ordered Cloud. Tiffa got up off the toilet, turned around, and bent over. Cloud gazed at the shit hanging from his wife's gorgeous ass. <laughs> Cloud pr tried prying her anus with his fingers, but to no avail. Ow, 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 Cloud, stop it, snapped Tiffa. Sorry said Cloud. So sorry, just doing my job. Sorry, just trying to pry your ass out. <laughs> Let me get the crowbar. <laughs> sorry, said Cloud. I have a thing. I think I have a more painless idea. Sit on the toilet again. Tiffa sat back down on the toilet to her get surprise. Your ass on the toilet, bitch. I said, wash your ass. You got to wash your ass. <laughs> To her surprise, Cloud pulled his pants down and positioned his cock to the entrance of Tiffa's pussy. Before she could say anything, Cloud began to thrust, slow at first, but gradually picking up speed. Tiffa moaned loudly in response to Cloud's love. Soon it happened. Tiffa clutched the toilet seat as she orgasm id. There's like there's like commas in between the ED. <laughs> so it's orgasm, comma, ED, comma. And to her surprise, the turd was that was stuck in her ass dropped right into the bowl. 
Oh, Cloud, thank you, said Tifa as she threw her arms around him, buried her face in his chest, and began to rock him. While she was doing this, she continued to fart loudly and ghastly and dropped chunks into the toilet, but Cloud ignored them. It was a job well done. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> He's so fucking proud. <laughs> but all good things must come to an end. The bathroom good door opened thing. and the cops came in. Wait, they what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> she, she I wish the cops the sewers or something. They marched right over to the lover's stall and grabbed Cloud and dragged him off of Tifa. As the Wait, what? Cloud, Why? Tifa one, let out one last fart to set him off. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, chapter two. <laughs> the title, I'm not going to read it right now, but the title of chapter three is Cloud Mows the Lawn Ellipses Again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but can I just know why Why did the police come? Well, woman goes, in, <laughs> woman goes into stall, man fucks her. <laughs> fucks the shit out of her. Literally. Literally. Literally fucks the shit out of her. <laughs> Ooh, what a fuck. <laughs> you know Sorry, the babe. Let me handle this. <laughs> oh, All right, can we talk about the puppies now? No, no, we can talk about ending the stream now. We've been going for two hours. Look at how they readjust <laughs> occasionally. It's so fucking cute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, but look at them. They just like. Yep. All right. So if you uh, if you guys like the show and you're new here, <laughs> go ahead and, uh, drop, <laughs> drop a like. Maybe uh, maybe subscribe because we'll be back here tomorrow at uh, two p.m. PST. Please dislike the show. Don't listen to Tamro. He's retarded. Please dislike the show if you like. For me. parts three and four, hit a like. I do, all the cool people dislike the show. So yeah. right, we'll be back tomorrow at two p.m. See you fuckers then. Hope y'all, I would say enjoyed, but it's a really fucking strong Happy word. So I hope you're, I hope you're not dead. Bye, fuckers. Is anyone else head hurt?